Well, then you need to find something less Hello. <laughs> hello, hello. Somebody put, somebody gave this one person on. Maybe it's Sharita. Is that you? Well, someone is on. Well, thank you, whoever that one person is. Um, back, and today is May 31st. It is the end of May. Can you guys believe it? So, if you, anyone is there, just say hello to me. Let me know you're there. And, uh, we will, we will proceed. But, you know, it is still like four more minutes until, until it's five o'clock. So. I have two. You have minutes two? Until well, my. Four, well, my, my stove says I got four more minutes. I don't know if your stove is accurate. Oh. But it's whatever. Should we, are you, are you breathing at me? For real? Um, Am I on? I believe you are. Well, Can there's two people second? on, so maybe I I'm really you are on. Probably live. Okay, maybe I'm really live now. Okay, if I'm really live, then that is wonderful. And I hope everybody's having a good day. And yeah. see, you're live. Yeah, she I hear myself. Yeah. So I am live. See my hair, people? Man, I need a cut. I just really do. I don't like this. But, I mean, this is the best I could do with it. Um, I was going to come out here either with my um, with my hat on, because I put my hat on this morning. Hi, Rosebud. How are you? And happy Sunday to you. Man, look at my hair. I'm like, not feeling this. <laughs> Beautiful. Uh, what you're thank about. you. <laughs> I'm not feeling my hair right now. I want, I need, I like my cut. I really like my cut, and I can't. That's the one thing I cannot do. I can't cut my own hair, so I really miss that. I really, <sighs> and I see myself and going, wow. But you know what else, people? If anybody want to really care? Uh, I've noticed that um, my, um, that my eyes. I can't see you guys right now, but under here. It's so dark, and it's like it's lightening up. It's like man, this working from home or this not commuting thing is just wonderful for me. Like I, I'm getting enough, I'm getting rest and you know, uh, grace. Hi, thank you, <laughs> thank you. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm starting to feel like I'm getting some rest for a change. My God, I have been really, really running. I, I said I've been running. The, you know, both sides of, of, of the candle, burning both sides of the candle since probably 2013, you know, because I, kind of I have a kind of demanding job and changes were going through and I was like not doing what I should be doing to take care of myself. And I think these three months, almost three months, oh God, I needed it. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> he knows what's best. And I say, thank you, Jesus. I can live like this, man. You know, today, this morning, I got up, um, and I had to go to the bank. So by before 11, I was at the bank. And then I left the bank, and the I bank went to... The bank was open? Yeah, the bank in Seahurst was open. Chase, Chase was open. Oh. Yeah, so, I mean, I didn't have to use my car. I just walked in, so it was open. Anyway, then I went to the bank, and after I went to the bank, then I went to uh, the park, and my God... <laughs> It was beautiful out there. I got a park. We have a park with a bay. Oh, it was just gorgeous. And I'm like, thank you. Look what God gave us. Look at this beautiful park. And I never have time to do stuff like that. So first thing I did when I did that, hey, Timmy. Hey, Timmy Fish. Man, I, had, I fried me some good fish last night. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> nice whiting. They was delicious. Oh, with some salad. Oh, that was my dinner last night. And it was so so, so, so good. You know, I love Did fish. Did you post this to the group? No, I didn't. I just ate it. <laughs> I should have done that, but I was hungry, and I ate it. And I'm also hungry today, guys. Uh, since I got up early and I ate, and then I went out walking, and I walked around probably two miles I did this today, and then I came back, and I, you know, I washed the floor and took care of other things and cleaned up a lot and tried to get ready for this, this, um, this uh, uh, live. So, but today, I'm making this thing called, uh, uh, well, today is this, this dinner, um, Timmy, is called um, unfried chicken. It's called unfried chicken. Um, it's a, a recipe that I think Sharita gave me or I found. Well, Sharita gave me, a, Sharita was telling me about a different recipe where uh, it uses almond, almond flour. But this particular one does not use the almond flour. But I put 
put some mama flour in there anyway. And I've never made this before. Also, I was going to put it in my air fryer. But I got a lot of chicken, so I said, nah, I'm not going to do it like that. I'm just going to put it, I'm going to put it in the oven. So I turned the air on so it could be like cool in here, even though I don't, because I don't like to put my oven on. But I said, let me put it on. And do you know what else I'm going to do? I'm going to use the convection part of my oven, which I have never used. I never, never, never used. But I figure if the, conve if it's, if the air is circulating sort of like the way it does on the, on the air fryer, then it'll all get done very nicely. So that's why I figure I'm going to try it on the, on the air fryer mode. Now, this recipe took a minute because, first of all, you have to put it, you have to take buttermilk and hot sauce and put them all together in a bag with all the chicken, right? <laughs> and then, uh, and then after all, after you do that, that's, that's your reader there. And after, uh, after you do that, then, you know, you put all the chicken in there, shake it all up, leave it in the, in the, um, wave and smile, Timmy says. <laughs> so after that, it's been in the refrigerator all night. I cleaned the chicken and whatnot, put it in a bag, left it in there all night. And so now you take, uh, you do, um, uh, now you do um, some chicken. So I have like a uh, breast, like thin cut, uh, well, two breasts really, and it's cut in half and they're thin cut. I have, uh, I don't know how many drums, I don't know, how many drums I got here? I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven drums. I have one, two, three, I have three thighs and two pieces of, of, um, bread. So, guys, this is what it looks like. This is what it looks like, okay? What you do after you, you know, after you take it out the refrigerator and then you supposed to put, um, mix all, mix this, this, um, stuff together, uh, you know what I'm going to do? Now I'm going to put it in the oven so it can start cooking. But then I'll tell you what, exactly how I, what I put in, in the breading so you guys will know. So, in it goes right now. And I'm hoping it'll be done in a half hour. I don't know. I don't feel like it's going to be done in half an hour. I kind of feel it said half an hour, but it doesn't say for as much chicken as I got. So I would say 45 hour, minutes, minutes to an hour, it might be done. And since I used uh, convection, it may be supposed to be done probably faster. But we'll see, because I don't ever use my convection part. But what you do is, what I did anyway, is I used this stuff, panko. I use this whole box of panko. Now this box is only eight ounces, and this whole recipe, one for the for the little bit of chicken, it says it says use um, one and a half cups of multi-grain or whole wheat panko. Now this is just panko, and it's the crunchy one. So um, I don't think it's whole wheat or all that. I didn't see that in the store, so that's what I use. We're going white. We ain't going nowhere. We will wait. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you guys can wait on me. I, you see, this, this thing takes so long. I was like, well, we'll be here forever. <laughs> you know, that's why I try to speed it up. But thank you, Timmy. Uh, uh, I, I appreciate that. I do appreciate that. So I use this, so, and I use some regular panko that I had. The Japanese, you know, that's what it is. It's like a Japanese um, breadcrumb. That's what panko is. And then I put some, I put a little turmeric in there which it doesn't say, but I put turmeric, see, I put this turmeric right there. I put that in there, a little sprinkle of that in there, not much. I put some cayenne pepper, and I mean, I put just a pinch of cayenne, because I don't want it too spicy, but if you guys like it spicy, you put it, you make it spicy. Now, I also had the hot sauce inside of the, um, the uh, buttermilk, so there's some spice coming from that in the first place. So you and, put it in a Ziploc bag, or you put it in a yes, I put, container? Yes, I put the chicken with the buttermilk and the hot sauce in a Ziploc bag, and I let it sit overnight. Then, this says put it in a Ziploc bag, too, so I put all of these ingredients in a zip, Ziploc bag, which was the panko. And it was, also I used like a cup of, um, of almond flour. Here's some almond flour. 
I used this cup of almond flour, which is not on the recipe, but that's what I used anyway, because Sharita said it goes in there. And then I used about at least a half a cup of grated Parmesan cheese, and I used, I didn't put no black pepper in there. Oh, well, I really didn't. <laughs> so I didn't put the black pepper in, but we'll, 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 we'll get to that. I'll, I'll, maybe I'll throw some one later. I did put, put a pinch of cayenne in there. I put some onion powder in there. I put some garlic powder in there. I put some smoked paprika in there and a bit of salt in there. And an extra thing I used was um, some of uh, some of this. What's that? Um, the, the poultry season? Yeah, poultry season. The magic poultry season. I put some poultry season in there also. So I, I never quite do anything like the recipe says. I did it my way. We're going to see how it comes out. Oh, yeah. And then I sprayed it with some uh, with some baking, not baking spray, but, you know, canola oil. I put some cooking spray on here. I sprayed it to maybe give it a little crunchiness. And I want to say, it had to sit. It had to sit for like 20 minutes. That's why it was still it was already done. And it was sitting there. Uh, but I have to say, it smelled good before it even cooked it. It really, really, really had a good smell to it. So that is what I did with the chicken. And as the chicken cooks, I still have a few things to do. And one of them is I'm going to make some broccoli. Oh, yes, 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 yes. And while I was waiting to get started, I took this, um, what is this thing? I took this, uh, I had like sweet three sweet potatoes. potatoes. And I got them yesterday. They look beautiful. So I said, I'm going to make, I'm going to mash up some sweet potatoes. And we're going to have mashed sweet potatoes with it. And I have some Brussels sprouts. And I'm going to make the Brussels sprouts also with it. So let's see what do I do. I think we'll do the Brussels sprouts first. So I'm going to pull you all over while this thing is cooking. And then to me to cut up, uh, I cut up some um, watermelon yesterday. So Sharita, she said she was on a fast until until five o'clock. That's why she's eating the watermelon right now. But uh, we don't. I, I told her I'm going to try that that fast thing to him to try to cut that out, you know, and, and do a little bit of definitely no no eating for a certain amount of time and see how this works out for me. Because the older I get, the more weight comes on me that I'm not happy with. So I have to do something about it, you know. Lo yeah. I'm making these Brussels sprouts, you know, and the Brussels sprout recipe that I saw really says you're supposed to put it in the oven. I'm not putting mine in the oven. I'm going to put it, I'm going to do it in my pan right here. So it's only a few, only a few ingredients, and I think it should be fine without put going in the oven. So, and then I need to cut up my pineapple, people. So during this time while this is cooking, I saw things I'm going to be doing today. All right, I'm going to pull you over here to... To come on up. There we go. This is my stove. Okay, guys, you see my stove right there. Rose Draper says she loves. I'm sorry, Rose Draper says she loves Brussels sprouts. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Brussels sprouts is okay. Delicious, and it will go fine with this chicken. So I'm gonna pour some uh, olive oil in my pan right here. I feel like. I really feel like I should put a little, a little dab of butter in there, too. That kind of... Nah, you know what? Because at the end of this Brussels sprout, I am going to put what in... What kind of olive oil are you using? Do you have the garlic infused one? Uh, no, but I have, I'm going to put garlic in it. Okay. So, and also, I'm going to put in uh, balsamic vinegar. Sounds good. All right, see, I had to get you to read his approval, but I found some balsamic vinegar. Who's that? Tiffany? Hi, Tiff. Hi, everybody. How you doing? <laughs> How are you? So I found this, um, this, I had this in the cabinet though. This is some balsamic vinegar. It's old age. It's aged balsamic. And at the end, I'm going to put some of that in it. And I'm sure it's going to be magnificent. I'm sure. So let me turn this thing on and get with it. How's everybody been doing to, um, this week? How's everybody been doing? Because I've been pretty good. I've been hanging in there. Because in the kitchen, Rick twisted like stir fry. What? She, she twisted her wrist? Is that what she's saying? No. Timmy said oh, in Timmy. the kitchen, Rick twisted it's a stir fry. 
Oh, well, yeah, yes, it is. Well, when you do it this way, yes, it is like a stir fry. It's a song? What song? What song, know. man? You know I don't know that kind of music. You better tell me. Oh, that music? Okay. Okay, see, she really know what you're talking about. I got no clue what you're talking about, Jewel. And he said thank you to me. <laughs> uh, I had no idea what you're talking about. In between that, Cynthia Sanders says, how are you, Dr. Wharton mom? Oh, hi. How are you, Cynthia? I am good. I'm much better now, my dear. I, You know, the COVID had me there for a minute, but I'm much better. Thank God. Hope you're doing okay. But I'm doing much, much better. Oh, my gosh. I didn't know how bad I felt. You know, not to, not to now I could see that I really didn't feel well. Carlton really. McCullough sent an emoji that I can't quite describe. It looks like he is Who? dancing. Who said that? Who said that? Carlton McCullough. Carlton? Mm-hmm. Okay. Rosa Hello. says we're on a mandatory curfew. Are oh, you guys not really? Were you miss, were you missing again last night? Oh, is that because of the um because the of the rioting, the rioting and stuff? So. Wow. Wow. Philly. Oh, Philly? Uh huh. No wonder. Yes. Well, you know, you know what's happening here. <laughs> we in but New York. Have a curfew. There's no curfew, but we are in New York, and you guys know. You know, and nobody. I didn't see right. I saw protesting. I didn't see like the looting. So. Um, they weren't quite looting. They was. I think they still was. Um, they still um was breaking people's windows and stuff. You know, it, it, it's real crazy, man. It really is. The old as I am, it still nothing changes. Everybody, everything stays the same. You know, they shouldn't have killed that man. I mean, it's obvious that they killed that man. You know. Cause I don't see the point of him putting his neck, his his foot on his neck like that. And now they want to say maybe if not, maybe he he died from other other extenuating circumstances. Listen, it didn't have to be nothing to do with it if 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 he didn't put his his uh neck his um his knee in that man's neck. That's just ridiculous. He wasn't was well, no reason for it, you know. But that's how it is these days. This is a very this is a very small amount of, of Brussels sprouts, so I suppose that's going to be just for me and Sharita, because uh, really Terry don't eat this, so it's just going to be Brussels sprouts for us. And I had some salad where from yesterday. Brussels sprouts? Yes. From where? From Food Town. I went to Food Town yesterday. Very nice in there too, by the way. No waiting in line. No waiting in line. Was good. You had your mask on though. I had my mask on. I got some cold cuts in there, and they weren't bothering nobody. It was very nice. Put a little pepper on, just for the heck of it, and put a little salt on here, some sea salt. So, yeah, this that that, that um, thing. Who wants to know? Did you cut them in half or are they whole? They, I, like they're cut in half. they they were whole and I cut them in half. They were whole and I cut them in half, definitely. So, you know, this way they'll have a, still have a nice crunch to them. Um, instead of putting them, you can put them in the oven if you want, but I don't want to put them in the oven. You could broil them. Yeah, but I can't broil them while I got the chicken in there anyway. You know, my chicken needs to cook, so that's why. It didn't go in there. No, I mean I could actually could put them in the um these I could put in the air fryer. Let them go. But I wonder what that would be like. But you and you can you can um put these things in the air fryer. You can put almost anything in the air fryer. And the thing I love my air fryer and I love my instant pot. But I love my air fryer because you know if you're only making a, like a small amount of stuff, it works very nice for that. But you know, Sunday it's Sunday dinner for Christ's sake. I'm not just cooking for myself, <laughs> so I have to sometimes um, use use the big oven. And it is becoming it is beginning to be summertime here, so we have to. I had to turn on the air for a little while just to cool, make sure everything is cool enough for me to stand while I'm standing here. You know, that's what I did. Now I'm turning these over. 
And one turns down a little bit. Just a little bit. It's starting to pop on me. So, guys, what did you guys do this week? You know, other than work from home. I hope you guys went and did something. I, I, I made up my mind, personally, that I am not going to just lay around in the bed. I'm going to get up. I'm going to get dressed. And every day, I'm getting up like I got somewhere to go. <laughs> Even though I'm working, but it's like you don't got nowhere to go. So I want to get up and get dressed and act like I have somewhere to go. And every okay. day. Tiffany started working. Oh, no, Tiffany. So how's that going, though, girl? How's that going? Working in that building. Are they, are they, are they social distancing in there, Auntie? I don't care. Like I said, this is New York, and, you, you know, they riding it, not riding it, but they're marching out there. And, boy, <laughs> once this thing started, you know this is New York, because that people was out, boy. I hope that the, you know, the COVID stays down, you know, but them people was out. They was out. Mostly everybody, though, had a mask and things of that nature out there. And the best other part about it is they're outside, which is real, real good. Everybody's outside. But, man, I tell you, <laughs> New York was buzzing yesterday with all the people out there. And maybe today. I didn't even look at the news yet. But, man, we don't play. <laughs> we don't play. We did not like this nonsense going on here. So I heard I heard around 8 o'clock on CNN there's going to be a a whole um, show about, what's it called, Sherita? Um, I Can't Breathe or something, I think they're, they're, yeah. they're calling it. I Can't Breathe. So, yeah, maybe, at, may, I'm sure I'll be done by then, and I want to probably catch that I Can't Breathe thing. But, yeah, this is just this, this, this crap that these people are doing out here. They're trying to kill us. It's the, they are so, so, are so, so, Mm-hmm. I'm in, in an office by myself, okay. and she says, Atlanta was pretty too. Is there a curfew in Atlanta? I thought I heard there was a curfew in Atlanta also. Is there, my dear, is there, is there a uh, curfew? This is only one bu- bushel of uh, of um, Brussels sprouts. I didn't have a lot. I just got Did one. Did not have a lot, or you just only bought one? I just only bought one because... I was just cooking for me. I figured you you want it. I know Perry won't eat it. So it's just be for us. So what vegetable will you buy? I made some salad yesterday. There's some salad left in there. Okay. You can go for that. Now, when I when I do these like this in the, in my pan, I will usually I will usually put a little water in there and let them steam now. I'm gonna let them steam a little bit. So that's what I'm about to do right now. I'm going to let it steam. And we'll see what happens. Just a little. There we go. Seems like a lot. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just a little. It's just a little. You let it steam. Let it go for a while. See it? It's really bubbling there. Okay. My top. Okay, so. Rosebud says, "Wow, they look delicious." Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I hope that chicken comes out good. If the chicken comes out well, I'm gonna do a rest. I'm gonna show you guys how I did step by step. But you know, in this case, I can't do that. You know, and then what happened to me? I don't you to see that. Can you see? Can you see? Can you guys? Let me let me show you. What happened? Did you cut yourself? No, nah, see? See what I did? See that right there? I don't see any. You can't see this? I'm not up to it yet. Oh, okay. You're behind? I'm behind. You can't breathe, right. Black men living and dying. Oh, yeah, That's I right. see. What is that? That, this is a burn. From because like bitter at, like, from what? Because, what was because I was cooking, and I you know I did, I did these things. I was cooking. I actually I had my, this kettle on. And it was steam coming out, so I actually put my arm in front of it real quick because I was trying to read something else, and I got and it got me, it got me. So mm-hmm. there's I another. A, I have a new burn too. There's another, there's another burn mark. I think we, 
I think we all might be getting burned since we all here cooking. <laughs> Not from cooking. I have it from my curling iron. She really got it from a curling iron. I got it from from cooking right now. I was almost gonna get something from the curling iron too, to be honest. That wasn't that was going like wow. I didn't even notice it until just earlier today when I was redoing my hair. Now I could I could cover this. Do I need to cover it? Yeah, I will. I guess I will. When are you going to put the um, balsamic vinegar in? What? When are you putting the balsamic vinegar in? When? Yeah. When, when do you think I should put it in? I don't know. It's supposed to be soon. Be. Okay. I will put some balsamic in right now. It's supposed to be toward the end. But well, are we that close to the end? Yeah, well, I mean, it's just, now it's, it's getting, it's, it's, it's winding down. So I'm going to put some balsamic in here on top of that. There you go. That should be magnificent. Magnificent. You know when you figure out you can make what almost almost everything, anything you want from home. Rosebud favorite because I do not miss the curling iron. I burn <laughs> my ear on a daily basis. <laughs> I think mean, I want to be okay. I, I burn myself <laughs> on the counter because like, I don't know. It's just not used to having to deal with this much in my own hair. Like, yeah, because we need time to cut that stuff. Too. Time to cut your hair. My nails are busted. They're going to be busted forever. No, not forever. They're gonna. The this stuff is gonna grow off of them, and then I'll just probably polish them. My nails are so, quite long, actually. So my nails, nails will grow longer once this stuff comes off of them. But I have I'm waiting them. for them to come. Waiting. I'm I'm patiently waiting for it to all grow off, and then I'm gonna just get them polished or polish them myself. And that is going to be that. I am not even putting them back on. I'm not putting that stuff back on my nails. That really? cost me. No, I heard. Really? Not. Really? Not. It. Mm -mm. What? So, Nassau County, yes. allegedly, since we're already in phase one, phase two, mm -hmm. hair come, and nails come back two weeks later. So. Well, hair be... and nails can come back two weeks later. Um, I might I might go to my girl and get her get my hair cut. She's but not in Nassau County. Oh, that's right. She's not in Nassau County. That's right. She's not in there. You see, we're so close to the borderline of Nassau and, and New York City or Queens that I forgot. My girl is in, she is in, in Queens. So I guess she ain't, they're not ready yet, <laughs> which is fine. But I just want her to cut my hair because I can do whatever I got to do to it other than that. I want my hair cut though. But as far as my nails go, yeah, mm -mm. I, I'm not going to get that done. Nope. I'm gonna just let them grow out, and I'm going to polish them myself. If I really not even like a pedicure though, yeah. it's pedicure season. Nah, mm -mm. I soak my own feet. I don't really like to do that anyway. I soak my own feet, take care of my own feet. I'm good. So I'm saving money, <laughs> especially with the uh, get my nails done. That thing must cost me probably if I do it. This is gonna be three weeks. Three weeks and then two weeks. That's what I was doing, um, and it's gonna cost. It cost me some money, you know. So, who's the gen? Oh, that's my fiance. <laughs> that was Perry. Perry just walking back and forth. Um, yeah, cause he's probably doing something in the studio. Perry is a musician, and he is, um, you know, he he plays the sax. And right now he's working on. He calls his pandemic album. So <laughs> he's working on something back there, but. He went back there, and then he'll probably go outside to his studio or whatever he's doing. But that was Perry, my fiance to me, Mr. McNeil. That's him. Anyway, yeah, so, uh, so yeah, you know, um, I, I'm saving with my nails, and um, I'm really feeling much better. I love this thing. We can keep on doing this forever. I don't see us doing doing much, um, what's they say? It's been a while. Hello, Marilyn. I'm glad to see you, too. I'm glad to see you, too. Yeah, it has been a while. Uh, what did he say? Are you about to get married on me? Oh, okay. What? What? <laughs> what? Did you want to marry me, Timmy? Did you want to marry? I never hear you ask me. <laughs> I didn't hear you asking me. <laughs> every time you every time you want to approach the subject, I'm either married or to be married. What you going to do? <laughs> Hey, that's what happens <laughs> in this life. There you go. <laughs> yeah. But it's nice to see everybody today. I hope you all are really doing good. I mean, I hope you all go outside, really. Because good gracious, it is beautiful out there. It is beautiful.
beautiful out there, absolutely beautiful. And, you know, for me, I, I, I've been pondering. This is my ponder. Uh, I have to get another air conditioner. I have one air conditioner in this room, but this room is really, really big. I mean, and it has high ceilings and whatnot. So I was thinking about, um, what she said? The straight thing home might as well start crying the Monday before Saturday <laughs> morning. It was, I was real tender-headed, real bad. Oh, really? <laughs> Really? I have a lot of friends that was tender headed. But I got issue with this here, man. With the straightening comb. She and, don't care how we're and, how I don't care. I have to get it done. Just be still. Let me do it. So <laughs> I was in that was a Sunday ritual with me and her. Every Sunday I had to do that girl hair, cornrow her hair most of the time and put little things all over it. But cornrow she was the cornrow queen because every Sunday that's what I did. After, after I cooked dinner for a couple of days, which I is... Know, I asked her simply to put two braids in today. She's I was like, like nah, nah. mm-mm. She's like, no. Not today. Mm-mm. Sorry. Not today. Not Maybe today. Tomorrow. It has to be a plan. I have to do a plan to get that done. Going outside is a must, yeah? Yeah, it is. The sun is... And the sun is really good for you. It's really, really good for you. Timmy, I was at the Inwood Park today. Man, that is a piece of heaven, that little park. I tell you, it's a piece. Every time I go up there, I go, wow. Was this it crowded? Is a, nope, not, not 11 o'clock in the morning. wasn't crowded. Oh, yesterday I went, too, and it was a bunch of little kids running around and stuff. Do they have their mask on or they're uh, running free? They kind of was running free. They was all running free, you know. So yeah, but yesterday the Spanish people were up there, and more today, more the Jewish people up there. So... Yeah, it, is, it, it really is. It's my favorite place, too. Uh, man, it, yes. Yesterday was absolutely beautiful, too. But you wasn't tender-headed. To, Tiffany said she wasn't tender-headed. Man, Tiffany, you had a whole bunch of hair, boy. It's a good thing you wasn't. Because that, whoa, it gets through your hair. Oh, my God. <laughs> 82 there. Uh, it's 82, yeah. You know, it's 71 here today. And or 72-ish today, and um, yesterday was about 82. Yesterday was really, really, really nice, man. So, in the, it, but in the afternoon, the wind was blowing like crazy. I think it was yesterday afternoon, and yeah, yesterday afternoon was like that, and uh, Friday was like that. So I've been trying to get up, and I've been trying to walk every day. I may not go around. I used to go around like eight times. I might not do eight, but I'm trying to get around so I can get back up to eight. Then, but I've been. I've been trying to get out every single day because, wait, yes, <laughs> wait, Timmy, I got, I got three Jewish neighbors on my block, three, yes, Timmy, three neighbors, mm-hmm, yes, it's a whole new world, <laughs> I'm sorry if any of you guys are Jewish out here, I don't know, but we don't know certain things about how, what things you guys do. So, like, we noticed that there was this Jewish, what is it, a Jewish ice cream truck came, like a, a food truck. And all of them got together, and which they the, the knew this truck was coming, and they went and got their ice cream or whatever they got from that truck. And we just never saw something like that. <laughs> I'm just saying, we just never saw them. So they have a whole different culture. So we are checking them all out, you know. One little girl keeps asking Perry, um, do, do we have a dog, and can the dog come out and play? But we don't have a dog. So, <laughs> I don't know. We don't have a dog. They love the dogs and the animals. And, but you know what they remind me of a lot? They remind me of when we were young and we were outside just playing, you know. They were just they were outside all day long playing, you know. And it reminds me of that because our kids don't go out and play like this like we used to do. And I think it's wonderful. Quite frankly, they all ought to go outside and play. And those kids go out. And as a matter of fact, I saw one day, today I saw them, I think they was making ice cream. Because Sharita had shown me that they had some, they had some, like a bag, like, um, uh, what do you call it, a, a, a Ziploc bag. And, and it looked like something white in it. So I think they were making ice cream because they were throwing the, the ice cream back and forth between three of them. So I think they was making ice cream out there like that, which is cool. I mean, I was like, I think that's real cool. They was they finding innovative little things to do outside. You know, so I'm like, well, we're us, we don't do that. So I really thought that was real cool that we was, was out there doing it. So I'll be watching them. I'm like, wow, I can't tell who's who. 
I can't tell who's the baby mama or who the baby is. Or I, don't, I can't tell a bunch of them. I don't know. But I can't. I say that as being one of a whole bunch of kids, too. So <laughs> I don't know. But I think they're out there having a great time. So, yes, but, but, but Timmy, we got three Jewish families on this block right now. Three of them. So, yes, uh, we're getting used to this. You know, see how this all rolls out. But, yeah, that's what's going on. So, yes, we had the, the Jewish people go into the park now, and one of them today were out there playing tennis. And uh, yesterday the we had the, the tennis courts open at Inwood Park. Yeah. Hmm. So the tennis court was open at Inwood Park, and they were playing tennis. A couple of them was playing. And the basketball court, too, or no? The basketball court is not open, but the tennis court is. But you can understand that. They're not getting close to each other. They're running, True. you know. They're not real close to each other. So they went out there playing, and it was all good. It was all good. As long as they, like, social distance, stay away from me, and we good. All right, now, the water is out of this stuff. Huh? The water is out. Now it's good. And I'm turning it off. I say it's done. You say? I say it's done. Yes. I mean, it's still good. I say it's done. The water is good, Mommy, but now it's going to the last one that I need. The last one I got from... Shop shop. Okay, guys, there's my, there it goes. There goes the Brussels sprouts. Those are done. Those are done. Now, what I need to do, for well, the next thing I'm going to do is my, is my, um, my mesh, my mesh, um, I got to touch that, tap it, make sure. I still act like I, like my fingers have some, some mitts on them sometimes. So you move you out of my way. Even though you just rinse it off? Yep, that's how you do it. Okay, now, I'm going to get my, here's my sweet potatoes. And I can't put it on there because it's hot. But see, these are my sweet potatoes. You guys can see from here. Does it have the little cover thing for the eyes? Or no. Mm -mm. no not, for, not for this kind of stove, no. Mm-mm. I didn't have it for this kind of stove. For the other old, old, old stove, yeah, maybe. But I don't even think I had it for that. No one from QVC, but they said you can make your stove into a counter. You didn't buy that? Oh, I have that. What? You can't put it on the wall of pot like that. Oh, so then what's the point? I'll put it on there too when we have company. It, it could give you more um, room. It gives you more um, counter space. When we have company, I don't turn on the stove. Mm. When will we have company again? Uh, I don't know, guys. You think we're going to be okay for Thanksgiving and have company come over? That's the company I needed to get. What do you guys think? You guys think there's going to be company happening anytime soon like that? I don't know. Perry kind of wants his friends to come over to, um, to do some music, but, you know, I mean, he's going to have to... Harry's going to really have to just like, yo, he's going to have to um, like be be very, very uh, careful. And I said, you can't come in the house. I don't care, y'all. They can do it outside, but they can't come in the house, man. Hey, DK. How are you? From 70 Roger. <laughs> Hello. I am going to now. I'm going to get this. I'm going to put like maybe two minutes on here. <clears throat> I want it. I want that to get hot. Hotter anyway, not hot, but hotter. You uh, batch cooked? You, you, uh, she's batch cooked a uh, chicken? A chicken. Oh, outside? We plan to get together. On, at, at, oh, okay. Well, how many of y'all getting together, Timmy? How many of y'all getting together on uh, for, for um for Thanksgiving? I mean, if I had 10, maybe, I don't even know about 10 people. I mean, maybe 6 people, 8 people maybe. But I have like... 50 people coming in, <laughs> too many people in here. So I don't think, I don't know that that's going to happen up in here this year. No, I don't think so. It's not, I'm not even going to, I guess I can't cook like that because who's going to eat all that food? But I will be making some, some stuff. Oh, just a few minutes. Okay, good. Because you guys are only three people anyway. And when you add your, you know, you add your, um, your, maybe your kids with that and, and your spouses with that, you might, you have less than 20 people, I'm sure. You know, and if you have a nice, big wide space that will that'll work but this house although it may look a bit it may look big it's not that big you know and I'm like mm -mm, I don't think I'm gonna be doing it 
I mean, I'm going to make a little small turkey. I'm already planning this. <laughs> I'll make a little tiny small turkey and probably a roast beef, some part of a roast beef. Um, I don't even know if I'm going to make mac and cheese. What do you think, Shania? Um, yeah, it's Thanksgiving. Yeah, but we ain't, it's only going to be us. If I make mac and cheese... We can make a little one. Then. No spouse here. He's single and free. Free to mingle. Listen to me. I'm going to tell you something right now. You better get you yourself with somebody, okay? Have because, you never been married? Because, Sh- Shemita asked, have you ever been married? Have you ever been married to me? We don't really know. Have you been married? But you you should find somebody, Timmy. Come on. It's ridiculous. You want to find somebody. Because, you know, it's not that you don't get grow, grow all alone. You're going to be alone usually anyway. No matter what you say about these things. You generally are alone, but, you know, it's nice to have somebody that you could be with and you can talk to. And then, you know, they could rub your feet or something when you don't feel well. You know, because, Timmy, believe it or not, you was getting old, honey. You was getting old. He was married? Yes. Back in 1995. Oh, yeah? Really? I don't recall that. I don't either, Tim. I don't, I don't recall that either. Should I put a little honey or maple syrup in this? Um, whichever you prefer. Well, I could have dropped a honey. Just a drop. I'm going to put a drop of honey up in here. You guys can see that. Um, that chicken and broccoli and tossed salad for us missed the beginning. What are you preparing? That's what DK wants to know. Okay, DK, I am making what is called, it's called unfried chicken. And to do this unfried chicken, I was going to put it in the, um, in the, in the air fryer. And I think if you're only making a small batch, I think you can put it in the air fryer. It will be fine. But I, of course, I'm making a big batch. So it will take me forever. So I put it in my oven. I turn the oven on. And I turn my oven on the convection bake um, cycle. So that the, air, that the fan will go and hopefully it will work in a way to, like, the air fryer, like the air fryer works. So let me look at you while I'm talking to you. Let me look while I'm talking to you. So, yeah, so what, so I, so I, um, what, what I have to do with that was to uh, use buttermilk and hot sauce. Put it in a, a, a bag, um, a baggie, what do you call them things? A Ziploc. a Ziploc bag. And I put the chicken inside of that and I let it sit overnight so it marinated in, in the um, buttermilk and hot sauce. Then I, I used uh, some of this, I used some of this, some panko, this is one, this is eight ounces. So I used some of this, of this panko, and it's crunchy, so I figured I'll try this one. And I used the regular panko, and I used some almond flour. There you go. And that's one of your favorites, I know. And then I used some, you know, some poultry magic on it. I used a little turmeric on it. Yep, I used some turmeric. I got to use that turmeric there. And I used... Some garlic and onion powder, both, and some smoked paprika, or and some regular paprika. Um, what else I put in there? Um, I did put something else in there. Cayenne. And a pinch of cayenne in there. Um, yep, that's everything. And, oh, and Parmesan cheese. Yep, I put Parmesan cheese on there, and about a half a cup of Parmesan cheese in the bag, all together, mix it up, shake it up, and everything, and then. I, I took the chicken out of the of the buttermilk mixture, put it in, shake it up, and then I let it sit on a tray for like at least 20 minutes, probably at least more like a half an hour, but it was sitting for a minute. And then, now it's in the oven for supposed to be 30 minutes, but I had a lot of chicken. I don't think it's going to be done in those 30 minutes. So I'm thinking it's going to be done more closer to 6 o'clock or afterwards. So it's in the oven right now cooking. And that's what we have, and along with... DK gives you a thumbs up. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. And I think, DK, I think you could really put that in your air fryer. Um, if you're only going to do a few, you know, a few pieces, I think you really could put it in, in your air fryer. But, man, I got a whole tray in here, so I did a lot. So, <laughs> you know me. It's Sunday. And I don't cook on Sunday. Timmy said he was living in Charlotte at the time, which is why we did not know. 
Oh, 95 he was in Charlotte? That doesn't seem right, but whatever, I guess so. Oh, okay, okay. All right. Yeah, maybe so, because, I mean, you guys were, because John John died in 99, so you guys probably weren't together for a little while. That sounds about right. Yeah, because 95 is when I bought this house. That's right. So, uh, yeah, 95 I bought the house. So, yeah, that sounds about pretty much right. When did you guys sell a house? When did you, you, um, you guys sell a house on Monroe Street? Was that in 2000 or in the 90s? That's a good question. But anyway, that's what I'm cooking right there. And uh, now, uh, BK, I am making some sweet potatoes that I saw in Food Town. Food Town is some really nice looking food. So I warmed them up again. I put them, this I generally made, oh, in 2000. Oh, that's when you're so, oh, okay. Yeah, it didn't seem, it did kind of seem like that. Yeah. Around the time, yeah, it did, sound, it did kind of seem like that. How long your mom been dead, um, Timmy? Around that, around 10 years now? Something like that? I remember this. Anyway, so I am now making my sweet potatoes. I'm hooking them up. So right now we're hooking up these sweet potatoes. Uh, come this so way. So you said you want to use honey. Yeah, I put a little honey in there. And I have some what butter in here. And I'm going to put, put a little cinnamon in. And maybe a little, maybe a little vanilla. What do you think? No? No. No vanilla. Uh -huh. Okay. No, she doesn't want pie. So we're going to do cinnamon to have down here somewhere. Cinnamon. What's cinnamon? Oh, I got cinnamon. There you go. There you go. Here's my cinnamon. Put a little cinnamon on here. I could put a little, um, Salt on, yeah. Let's see. I don't know if I'm gonna put salt or not on here. Not really necessary. And when and when salt is not necessary, you don't need to use it. So here's my fork. I'm gonna mash this up with the butter. There we go. So we're gonna have mashed sweet potatoes here. Yeah. I put these in my in my pressure cooker for 15 minutes. Brought up the pressure for 15 minutes, and that's it. It's only three, and I don't need a whole lot of this because it's just us, you know. And I have to start thinking, yo, I can't cook like that. <laughs> Please take it down a little bit. Take it down a notch. So that's what I'm doing, trying to trying to think like that. Now so last week I made some. Oh my God, I made some sweet some. Uh, what is that? Spaghetti in that instant pot? Oh my god. That was good. That's one one of, the one is and Sharita made shrimp in the in the oven. What did you do, Sharita? How'd you make it? Uh with the butter and the pesto. So she kinda made it similar to how she we made the um the salmon. The salmon. When that time we did that salmon. It's kinda similar to that. And that's how she made it. And I didn't taste it, but it looked good. I'm sorry, I really don't know. Let's see. This is good. This will work. This will work. I can actually put a little bit more. I shouldn't, but I am. Put a little I mean, bit more. Sweet potatoes are sweet on their own, they do Yeah, but it could use them. It could still use a little bit more honey. So I popped a little more honey in there. I feel like it needs something else. Did you put the cinnamon in? I put the cinnamon in. I feel like it needs something else. Maybe it is a little bit of salt. Maybe a pinch, yeah, probably. Yeah, let me put a pinch. Like the people who eat their watermelon with salt. The honey, the honey, the honey, the honey helps. Just put just a pinch of salt now. Just a pinch. That's enough. That's a pinch. Pinch is all. And that should be. Well, that's going like to go. Yeah. It's just a pinch. It was really just a pinch. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. That tastes good. Oh, uh, you guys don't understand. I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm hungry. What did you eat today? 
Today I had me, like I almost always have, I had sausage and one egg on, one fried okay. egg and sausage on, no, on English muffin. That's it. So I'm kind of hungry. That's what I ate. Mm -hmm. Hey, Pat, how you doing? You was having some problems getting on? Xavier helped me. Xavier's a smart kid, Pat. <laughs> He's a smart kid. How you doing, Pat? I think today was the first day I saw you in a long time, Pat. I think it was the first time that I saw you in a while, you know. Where did you see her? I saw her outside. I saw her outside for a minute. So yeah. You can call you can call Perry when you're ready, Pat. And he can he can walk you through your problem. So anyhow. So, yes, yeah, so, uh so anyway, what you guys been doing? Um, I'm gonna have my sprinkler turned on, I think on on Tuesday. I thought you said he was coming Wednesday? No, he's coming Tuesday. I said Monday, and then I said Tuesday. I thought you said Wednesday. Whatever. No, he's coming Tuesday. Yeah. So. At what time? You said <laughs> You're welcome, Pat. Huh? At five? He's coming between three and five. So he's coming in to turn on my sprinkler. I'm sure I got some sprinkler heads or something missing or whatever. So, you know, I'm going to see about my sprinklers and get my sprinklers on. I haven't... Haven't decided yet whether I'm going to go put some tomatoes outside, but I might. I might just throw some tomatoes out there, too, you know, as I'm getting outside. I have to get, I had to make up my mind. You know, I'm going to be retiring, so I can't see a dog on thing without these glasses. I'll tell you right now, uh, he's good. Okay. It's nice seeing you, too, Pat. Who cuts the grass? I got a gardener that cuts the grass. Yeah. Because I don't do that to me. <laughs> I don't do that. Yeah, and ain't nobody else around here that will. My family should, someone should do it, but I think we all old now, so <laughs> we don't do it. Maybe Stanley cuts his own grass in the front, because he don't have that much grass. I think he only has the front with grass. But I got the back and the front, you know. Uh, yeah, I saw, I yeah, I saw him, Pat. I saw, you, I saw, I saw him, and he turned on our neighbor's um Sprinklers too. I saw him, you know, and the kids was running in the sprinklers like, <laughs> like wow, look at this sprinkler. We were running in the water. <laughs> they, the, the kids are funny. I mean, really, I, I get a kick out of uh, watching those kids. <laughs> they are funny, but yeah, they were running all in the sprinkler. But that's what we would have done. So, <laughs> ain't nothing wrong with that. That's what we do. They're just like normal old time people like you the way old timers used to do stuff and I I appreciate that. I tell you right now, I'm I think that's cool. I really do. I wish kids would do that now. You know, I really, really do. Who is that? Oh, thank you. Thank you, Tamika. <laughs> that's my mama's smile right there. That's my mother's smile. Be this that's all her. I look just like her. <laughs> Every day I look in the mirror, I look just like her. I look just like my mother. Every day I look in the mirror and go, wow, boy, she spit me out. I could never see that when I was young, though. I never saw that I looked like her. But I do now, boy. I look just like these. Look at these crazy arms. My mother had these huge arms. I'm like, I hope I never get these arms. What, the, what do I got? Some big old fat arms. I can't, <laughs> I, 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 can't, I can't say nothing but shake my head at that because I look like my mother, just like her, for real. You know, you know what I think this thing needs too, Shamita? I think it actually needs a little more butter. So I'm, I'm thinking about that. Because oh. I looked over at the butter. Maybe. I think it needs a little more butter. That's what I think. And I might stick that back up and yeah, let that go. Uh, things used to be simple then. Yeah. Like yeah, things used to be simple then. And things should be simple now. You know? What's that? Those arms are how you recognize an awesome cook. <laughs> that, well, my mother would be nice to think that's great, but I think these are crazy. Look at that. It's ridiculous. I got the biggest but arms you're not in the world. Doing right but it don't matter. These things are huge. They're they huge. would go in a little more. No. There was more muscle. No, they're just fat. I got big old fat arms. I don't have such a big chest, but I got big old arms, man. Mama, that's mama all over again. Like, how do you, you know, and sometimes I, got, I want to wear something, 
you know, with, even like with short sleeves, I have to make sure that it's huge. I mean, like big arms, so that these big arms can go in there. And let's not even talk about getting your blood pressure taken. They got to use a big cuff. My arm is big. You would never think that, but my arm is huge. Like, because it's mama's arm. <laughs> I got my mama's arm. For real. For real. But and I thank God for my mama. I'll tell you right now. And, yes, my mother could cook. And, yes, I'm, I done took up after her, for real. I can try to I can try to get down like that, too. So, but let me see what else. I still got to do my um my pineapple. So since I have some more time, what time do we have? I it have about, about 5.53. Yeah. We, you don't want to look and see what the food looks like? I'm going to pull the food out and see what it looks like. And if I need some more time, then I'm going to cut my pineapple up so I can get that thing done. Well, it's looking. It's looking pretty good. It's, it's looking. Hey, let's see what we got here. It's cooking, man. Let's see what it looks like. Do I stick a fork in it? Because it looks almost cut before you put it in. Well, I'm going to. I'm not going to do more than stick a fork in it. I don't know. One of those temperatures. Okay, guys, look and see what it looks like. Look and see what it looks like. How's that? How's that? You guys can see that? There you go. Now, it looks pretty good. And, but I don't know quite. The, I can see that the, the bones here, the bones are around the chicken um, legs are starting to draw back. So, that's good. They're, it's it's cooking. cooking. What does that mean? When you see bones, if you cook it and you start to see the bone, like when you're cooking a, a turkey, um, and you start to see the bone, it means that a chicken, I'm sorry, a chicken, a turkey, or a ribs, when the, when the bone comes back, that means it's cooked. It's just about, when it starts to peel away from the bone, it's just about done. That's what it means. Now, where's the other one? Yeah, I, had to, I had another one. Where is he? You know, Mr. Perry tried to help me, but I never know what he does when he puts my things back. I don't know. See if this one's gonna work. Hopefully this one works. Let me turn it on. Where is the one you normally use? I don't, oh here it goes. Here it goes. I blame it on Mr. Penny. Right here. Here we go. Okay, let's see. Here's the one I normally use. Turn it on. What you telling me that this Your battery's oh, dead? Looks like my battery's dead. What kind of battery is it? Um, looks like double A's. Double A, triple A's. I can't read up there. Triple A's. Hey, Perry! Could you give me two triple A's down here, please? Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna wait for my batteries. Up there, could you give me two triple A's? What? A triple A. Oh. Let's see. We'll we'll try and see if the battery works. Um, that looks good. Yeah, it do. It looks good, and it smells good, man. It was smelling good before I even put it in there. I may turn them over and pop them back in, but I wanna just see where I'm at with it. You see, Tripoli. I don't have any? I'll show you that. You can use a step ladder right next to you. That would be helpful. Yes, my dear. It would be helpful. Yes, my dear. Let's see what this is. Anyway, let's see if I can get a temperature. I don't know if I, I'm not sure how to, how to use this. What is it? I do. She does. Let's see. Let's see. Thank you. All right. Okay, let's see. I'm going to see if this one is working for me. That way. 
that way. Yep, it's on. The battery just died. Okay, let's see. Let's see what we got. Put it in. You know, guys, it says 122, 143. Sometimes you, when you, when you um, are, if you don't have a thermometer, you just need to poke it and see if the juice runs clear. And then you know it's done. This is at, at this point, it's at 140, 150 almost. And what it needs to be at 160. 160. 160, 165, it'll be done. Um, this is at 150, at least this one. Yes. It's saying 150. Oh, this is the one beacon. Okay, hush, hush, hush. Hush! And what this is the one that's beeping say? It's not in here. So that piece is that. Let me try this one. This what one. about the one that doesn't look gold? Like, that's golden, but not. But this one over here? No. I don't know. It's like, the, yes, that one. This one? This is a mm -hmm. brush. And the brush is looking at, right now, it's looking at 140 on this side. So, I'm going to put it back in. I still think it needs a few more minutes. But before I put it back in, I'm going to turn them over a little. Turn them over and get, and get some color on the other side. Here we go. But they're definitely going back in. They do need to be in a little longer, and they need to rotate. So, whew. You see me with my hands? I'm sorry. That's how I do stuff. I don't go for, I can touch it like that. That looks beautiful right there. The breast, the breast looks good. Turn these over. Yep. You see that? It needs some color on the other side, as you guys can see. If you can see, it needs color on the other side. So we are going. It looks delicious. Some of the breading fell off of one of them. Yeah, yeah, it did. But, oh well. Oh, well. This can go definitely back in for probably another 20 minutes. My okay. feeling. Yes. I feel like it needs another 20 I'm minutes. So hungry. I know so am I. <laughs> We're hungry. <laughs> We're hungry people in here. But this got to go another 20. I'm going to have to start a little earlier if we get this kind of hungry, man. <laughs> I'm going to have to start earlier. And maybe by 3. So we can all eat by five. So that's what I think I'm going to do next time. Or four. Or definitely maybe by four we'll be starting. So that we could eat. We could maybe then eat. Okay. And it goes again. Right. And you need to do it after that because the potatoes back in the microwave. Right. Well, I'm gonna, I'm going to stick the potatoes back in the microwave here. Okay. I'm going to take that one out. Move that out of my way. Move this out of my way for the time being. i move this out of my way also. Move that out of my way. Uh, I've been dropping things all day. Jeez. Jeez, that's so odd. Oh. Okay, now let me put this in my microwave. Put this up in here. Put this in the microwave so I can get a little bit more butter. And it goes for another the two minutes. The butter has salt in it too. So. Yeah. The butter, the butter needed more butter. So that would be like a half a stick of butter for all of that. All right, guys. How many potatoes are there? Three. I got three so sweet potatoes. Mm, three pounds, maybe. Two and a half, three pounds. All right, I'm going to cut up my lovely, 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 lovely pineapple. This, this pineapple smells good. What did we say? Save me a plate. I will, Timmy, but you got to come back on my own street to get it. Boy, this one smells rather nice. Can you smell Sharina? You have a good smell going on? Or maybe I could. Maybe I can leave it. It's okay. It's not no. like. Where I bought this? I bought this one at Food Town yesterday. And you know what I'm going to do? I am. I smell it, but it's not like last week. You know what? I'm going to wait. I'm going to still give it another day. 
But this one, this is going to get devoured tomorrow. I'm gonna let it. I'm gonna let it sit for another day, guys. You can easily go buy yourself a pineapple. You saw, you saw me do it last week, and just cut the top off, cut the bottom off, and just shave it, shave it around, and then cut it up, cut it in half, and make sure you, you know, cut it around the core, and then chop it all up. And you got this pineapple cost me three dollars maybe, and if I had bought this thing cut up, it would cost me ten dollars. So, I cut my own. So, guys, cut your own fruit. And I got me a big old water. Reconnect, reconnect. Why y'all do that? Okay, came back. Are Thank you. Back? you. It looks like it's back to me. I don't know about that. You don't, you don't see? Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm back. I didn't go too far. Technical difficulties. Yeah. They got to do better. You know, everybody working from home and whatnot, they got to do better, right? Thank you. <laughs> I am back. So I think they got to do better with this internet service. I heard that down south, that internet service is awful. I know. That's what I heard. It appears that way. I heard it's awful down there. They're going to have to do better than that with internet if people got to work from home. So, because here, it must be better. Yeah, now, this is nice. Yes, it is. Come on, you guys. What, what are they doing about that? Why is it so bad down there? I don't know. I, I need my internet to work right. I don't know. This one I'm going to give a taste now. Mm-hmm. Yep. Delicious. Definitely delicious. So I was going to cut my cut my pineapple, but I have to wait now. Mm. You're like a little pixelated. I'm pixelated? It looks like it. Am I pixelated? Depends on your carrier. So, so who your carrier down there, Timmy? Who do you guys use? Cause we got Verizon, you know that, and we got FiOS, by the way. <laughs> That's what we have here. But a lot of people even or you should have cable Sprint. Vision. Oh, Sprint is terrible down there. Wow, wow. I think they don't even have no Sprint up here. <laughs> they ain't even trying to do that. What did you say? Oh, you can have what, Sharita? Optimum Vision. <coughs> oh, yeah, we can have Warner. Optimum Time Warner, you know, the cable vision, which is so okay. I don't like their television, though, plan at all. We don't, none of us like that, you know. But, I mean, hey, hopefully, you know, if people are going to work from home, guys, you're going to have to get a better system going on here. Tiffany, so true. <laughs> You know, you guys are my are my Sunday family, even though you can't come and eat. I appreciate y'all. I really do. Oh, <laughs> Tiffany says you're good now. So. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I don't know. I need to refresh my browser. Thank you. Um, what was the other thing? Five things either. You don't want those five things either. What five things? Five, five, fifth thing? Oh, Sprint. Oh, 5G. Oh. They don't have 5G? Do we have 5G here? Uh, I mean, supposedly. Allegedly. Oh, we do? Hello, hello, Miss Jordan. How are you? How are you? You missed me? <laughs> I miss you all too. I really did. But as I told you guys last week, I really wasn't, I really wasn't up for it. I really, oh, was horrible. Oh, yeah, 5G towers. Okay. I think we must have them too. I don't know. And they better get better towers now because everybody's working from home and the kids are working like this and you know everybody they need to do better they have to get better on the game so they can start making more money because <laughs> folks got their work like this so they really need to do better than that but I'm on my in my brain I'm on my retirement oh really I didn't know they had that kind of money <laughs> Teresa said she didn't know if they had they had that kind of money money for me I'm on my my brain is going into retirement. <laughs> oh, lovely! I'm happy with this, man. I'm glad I can still walk and I can still think and I think pretty well. I do believe, and I'm gonna be like I want to just like my mind needs to just like float on, and 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 deal with this beautiful weather and this beautiful thing. Even if it even if it was um snowing outside, I'm okay. You know, I'll find something to do. I will find something to do. And I get more creative doing other things, and I will be making videos, 
you know, I really will be making more videos um, as I'm doing this. Oh, guys, if you didn't read it before, I have more than 5,000 subscribers. Thank you, thank you, thank you, everybody. I can't even believe I have that many subscribers. Thank you so much. I truly, 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 truly appreciate you. Because that amazed me. That people want to hear me. But, yeah. Um, if you win the lottery, you're going to open a restaurant. You all. He wins the lottery. He wants you to open a restaurant. Oh, no, dude. Mm -mm. <laughs> That's work. <laughs> no, 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 no. Mm -mm. Uh-uh. I don't think I could do that. That's work. No. I ain't you trying to work. You're like a consultant, like the old lady. Uh, uh, I may come in. Show. I might come in and say, listen, let me let me taste that. You know, what she said, best show in town. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Tiffany Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Hi, you in Mississippi? And she says, hot? What did she say? She says it's hot here. How's the weather there? Oh, man. Yes. After we, if I'm retired, Timmy, I'm going to answer her first. The weather here is like 71 degrees today. Yesterday was around 82. It is beautiful, marvelous, nice weather. Nice to go walk in and nice to, and I'm close to the beach and the water and, you know, bay and stuff like that. So the wind is coming off there. Oh, gosh, it's wonderful out here. It's beautiful out here. So I, I'm loving that. I don't want it too hot. I really, mm -mm. Mississippi, I bet you it is hot. Wow. You having some riots out there, too, in Mississippi? Now, what was the second question? Uh, after retirement was the oh. other question. And, and after retirement, Mr. No. Timmy, uh, mm -mm. no. <laughs> I want to do whatever I want to do whenever I want to do it. That's what I want to do for retirement, whatever, whenever. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to get into a mode that I'm going to have to work. Uh-uh. Mm -mm. You know what was happening to me right now as it is because, uh, who's that? Hello, my intention is acting up again. Oh, what's it, what did she say? Internet, uh, the internet's acting up again? My internet is acting up again. I don't know if it's the yeah. person who is we don't know joining if us. Yeah, we, we look fine. Yeah, okay. from, from here we look fine. Maybe it's your, uh, your internet. Um, but from here, but thank you for watching. I appreciate you. Um, could use a soulful place. But, um, Timmy, are people going in these restaurants? They don't have soul food places in Rockville? Yeah, uh, and, and she was just asking how they don't have soul food restaurants down south. And, <laughs> and she's, and are people going in there though, man? Seriously, are they really going in? No, no, right in chat. Oh, good, thank God, thank God. Because we, well, they are. Okay, I won't call it riot. Protesting. They're protesting all over New York City. I don't they think there's riots happening here. Thank you, Shavita. They have them in Charlotte, not here. Oh, 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 oh I see, I see. In Charlotte. But how are they still eat? How are they eating? Enjoy. I enjoy. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, yeah, I don't know how they, how you're supposed to go into a restaurant these days, you know. Um, I mean, with social distancing and whatnot, and I have to, I, I you can go from, from a from a financial know. from a financial point of view. Uh, what you want to answer it? Yeah. You want to answer it? From a financial point of view, I can't see how you're going to survive. I can't see I can't see how you're going to survive from a financial point of view at all. You know because there's overhead. There's overhead and there's um you know there's overhead and you, and the workers and all that which is all mm -hmm. part of overhead. If you don't have a proper amount of people in your place, how do you make it like that? Hello, hey, how you doing, Gwen? How are you? <laughs> so okay. you know I don't see I don't see how that can ha I don't see how you can survive if people can't come into your establishment. I really don't. You know this is it, 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 this pandemic is going to definitely cause a whole lot of joblessness, okay? I'm pretty sure she just it really, throw it away, yeah. It really, it really is. It's going gonna, it's gonna to cause a whole lot of joblessness, period, you know? Okay. So, um, I, I'm just saying, that can't, that can't be, that's not going to be good for, for all of us. So, I think 
what the you know government right, ought to do is down. start thinking about what are they going to do after this. You right, know, what what did, what did he have to say? He said, if you look for the pressure washer, it's not there. The pressure washer is there. None of the attachments are. Oh. He says that he thinks that you said throw for him away. to like throw them away and yeah. them missing. Yeah. So okay. You're now going to need either new attachments or a new pressure washer. Okay. All right. But to call him back when you're done. Okay. Perfect. I probably just tell him to throw it away. I'm, <laughs> I, I'm like, I know what that thing that. was for, but you know, I might buy something else anyway. I went to power wash my uh, my uh, house so I could get the um the mold like stuff off of it because mold like stuff on all our houses around here. So I went to power wash and I had a power washer in my shed. So Phil says I have the power washer but not the attachment. So I guess I got to get rid of the whole thing because there's no way to get the attachment. And I doubt I'm gonna buy another one. I, I'm gonna probably figure out something else to do. Maybe you can you rent know. one. Ah. Uh, yeah, we'll see about that. I might, just, I might just have call somebody. I don't know, but I this this is the things in my mind that I'm home and I need to see what I'm gonna do. But you guys, you you mark my word. This pandemic, whether it stops today or tomorrow, uh, and there is no more Corona, there will be layoffs. There will be people without jobs. There will be. You know, you I think you better figure out. What is, is your job going to be relevant, and are you going to be able to go and um, do something? That, you know, can you can you refigure what you do in a different kind of way so that you guys can still make some money? Because I'm telling you right now, there will be layoffs. I, there's going to be about a depression going on here. If you ask me, it's going to be something. If you can't, if you don't have a job that's relevant, and if your states aren't getting mo enough money to take care of stuff. Uh, no, um, I'm not making sweet potato pie today. I just made some mashed sweet potatoes today. <laughs> and I made some, um, chicken, what's it called, unfried, unfried chicken, chicken. And I made some Brussels sprouts. That's what we have in. So all of that's basically done. I'm just waiting for this chicken to finally get done. So I turned it over, you know, so it, can, so, it can, minutes, like so it can get kind of yet. done, you know. I sprayed the top the first time, though. I sprayed the top with some um, baking spray, and I love those mitts. We, which ones? The other mitts, I guess. The oh, ones these. Ones. Oh, QVC, you yeah. love these? Yes, this is my QVC mitts. Yep, I love them, too. Because, you know, you can do like this with them. Put them over your, you know how you, how we all, you have things, you know, you're doing all this. They're great. So I always keep them here. So I got them from QVC, and I always watch them. Um, in the is, kitchen. Yeah, with in Dave. the cave, in the kitchen with Dave. Yes, I love these too. These are my. These are. I think they come in different seasons, by the way. But I bought three of them because I might take them outside when I use. Thank you. I might take them outside if I'm on the grill. I have them with me because you know you need these things on the grill. <laughs> so I have. I had. I bought three so me and Ned could use them when we go outside. But I don't know if we going to be doing stuff like that out this year. I don't know. I mean, but that is enough space for people to be mm -hmm. distance-ish. Yeah. They, they have to go to the, yep, I got it at QVC. That's where I got it. Definitely. Look them up. Definitely look them up. What did I say? Cook, cooking, cooking buddies. It's called cooking buddies. That's what it's called. So yeah, look up cooking buddy on QVC. And I'm, I'm definitely, and I throw them in the washing machine. They work really good. Is uh, that what you're watching? Hello, Lee. How are you? What's for dinner is fried, unfried chicken. <laughs> unfried chicken that I that I had to put uh, buttermilk and and um and hot sauce in and keep them overnight. And then you're welcome. And um then uh then I just had to bread it with panko and. Uh, almond, almond flour, and a few other seasonings. Stay in the oven, and it's hopefully going to get done soon. Um, we, how many minutes, minutes is on my timer? So you gave me a timer. Um, so, I think it's like four. Four minutes? Three minutes. And oh, they, and they, they're looking. Okay, they're, they're looking good. You know, I thought I had to maybe spray them, but I don't have to. You know, and that may not, and that's possibly probable because there's some skin on that. So you probably wouldn't have to. It's Where using mom. Tell my girl I said hello as well. He she said he said hello. Who Glenn. said hello? I said hi. 
<laughs> Glenn, she said hi. <laughs> I said hi, but hello. Hello, how hello, are you? hello, hello, my hello, my first, my first son. I think no, you're my second son. My first son is Lemmy Walk. So you're my oh second my son. Oh my goodness. <laughs> my, that's my second son that I got that I met in like 1993. Yep. Four. Three. 1993. Oh, yes, yes, it was mm -hmm. October. Yes. 1993, Fall. that's when he came. Fall of 1993, that's when I met Mr. Glenn. Yeah. <laughs> and Glenn's been here since with me since 1993. But, yeah, you know, I love these little things. And I, I, I'm going to tell you, I'm telling you guys, go figure out, go somewhere and see if you can be retrained into in something. Um. I mean, I do accounting and bookkeeping and um, ma business management and that sort of thing. And even when I was going to, when I'm thinking of retiring, I was thinking that maybe I would do some of that online, which I still can. Because that's one of those subjects, one of those, 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 um. You know, you could buy this directly from the manufacturer. Well, Sharita says you can buy it from the manufacturer. You have to buy it from QVC. Oh, your twins were born in 1994? And my nephew Josh was born in 1994. Yeah, he's 26 years old. Yes, that's right. My nephew was born in 1994. That's right. That's right. He was so little now, he's a grown man. <laughs> they grown now, 1994. <laughs> yeah, but he's still young. They don't know anything. But <laughs> but they are. They, that's amazing that they got so big all of a sudden. Wow. You know, I was so young in 1994. Hey. <laughs> Where are you? Yes, that's before, right before I bought this house. So 1995, we bought the house. So yeah, yeah. They were so little, but they they big now. But they're and they're grown, but they still ain't got. They still don't quite have it up there. Most of them, you know. They're still like a little. They can learn a lot, you know. Uh, what she said? I did mine last. She did. She did hers last week. That's the power washing. Oh yeah, I know Pat. I know Pat. I haven't had this house, this house power washed in um years. Since, in years since uh, Phil had done it for me years ago. So I thought I had a power washer outside, but I don't, you know, or I don't have all the attachments or whatever. So I say, you know what, I have to figure out what I'm going to do. Because I want to get that moldy stuff off the house. That's That's been sort of bugging me. So and I want to get that off the house, you know, if I can. So that's what I was thinking about. During this time of what we, you know, what can you do with your spare some of your spare time. That's one of the things I want to do, you know. So I'm working toward those sorts of things. But this whole summer, because we can't go nowhere, really. You can't go anywhere. Just So you might as well go to the park, get some air, and do stuff around the house. And we are know? doing a jump rope challenge if you'd like to participate. Oh, I, I cannot be jumping. My knees are killing me. So Devon and I power washed the patio and did the side of our house with and the mold came off? Did she say the mold came off? Um, with the mold. She said you could use hers also. Oh, well, maybe, Pat, I will borrow yours. You yeah, maybe I will. And I have to see what you put. You need to go. Yeah, I need to go to hairdresser, too. <laughs> I need to go. I need a haircut. Timer. I need a haircut. She really said timer's ready. So let's try. Let's see what's going on with this chicken. So let's see. It looks good. It does look good. Man, it looks good. I'm I hope telling it's you. Done. I am telling you, it really do. It looks good. And I know my piece looks good. See, my piece is the fresh. So my piece is probably definitely done. You don't think your legs will be done? And we shall see. I think they'll be done. We the shall size see. I wonder about, but. Well, the size is the biggest part. Let's Are check there it there out. Are there sizes on there? Huh? Are there sizes on there? She said, just use a solution. Well, any kind of solution, Pat? Uh, she said, we didn't use any solution, just water. Oh, you just, just use water. Like high powered water. Isn't that what it is? Oh, still, still put a solution in there. Let's see. How long did it take to get done, Pat? All right, so I'm going to try a leg right here. Try the leg. The leg is at 160, 167, 169. 69, yeah, the leg is done, that leg is done, 
Let's try. Sounds done. Let's try a dime. What about the one that looks unbreaded? Which one? This one? This one? This one? The one in the middle. This one? Keep going oh. the other way. This one? I would show you. Are you talking about a leg or a thigh? A leg. That Wait, one. There. This one? Mm-hmm. It's just because, you know, that's just only really because the panko, color of the panko. This is 156, 157, 157, almost 158, 158, 158, oh yeah, I guess it could stay in for another minute, I suppose, let's see, how about you, 154, you the and the thighs? 157, 158, 158 and a half, 159. I think this is done though. See, another thing, the juice is running out clear. When the juice runs out clear, I mean, I don't want it to be dry. When the juice runs out clear, it's done. It's and all the juice is running out clear? Yeah, the juice is running out clear. So let's go with that then. The juices are running out clear. Let's see. This thigh. The thigh is the biggest part. Let's see what we're doing with that. Mm. You're taking your time. You stop it at 155. 155 and a half. 155. Uh, I think some of the legs are done. You know what I'm going to do, guys? I'm still giving it another 10 minutes, and I know it'll be done in 10 minutes for real. But will it dry out by giving it the extra 10 minutes? I don't think so. Let's take a look. You see, I'm going to take a look. I'm going to take a real look here. I'm going to take it and put it on a plate, or a paper plate. And then I'm going to take one, probably that one, the one she's talking about. And we're gonna cut it. I'm gonna cut it. We're gonna, we're gonna look. See if you don't know for sure, then cut it and see. I'm gonna take a knife. I'm gonna do it like this. I'm gonna take this one particular one. This is actually the one she was talking about. Take her out. And I'm gonna let's see what the bone looks like. Yeah, I think it actually could stand another 10 minutes. It'll be okay. But all of them don't need that. I'm taking the breast off. The breast don't need it. I'm taking the breast out. Because the breast was thinly cut, so and it had no bone. So I'm taking the, the breast out. But what do you think? I'll give you a chance to look. What do you think? It's a little pinkish. Okay. Okay, we're going to put it, I'm going to put it back in. So I'm, but I'm sure we won't out. die from it. Yeah, I think this, I'm sure it's going to be fine, but I'm taking the breast out. I'm putting these back in because these are big old thick pieces. Come over this way. Come here. Come here, buddy boy. Put them right here. And put them right back in. Four. Are you putting them back in too? Are you cut open? You want you want to taste it? I mean, it's not completely cooked. We know that, so I guess I should put it back, right? Well, this that part's not completely cooked. I put this. You can taste it. I can taste it. It's not really bad. There you go. There you go. Uh, there's chicken crumbs on my laptop now. Okay, now. Put them back in. We're giving it 10 more minutes, Sharita? I um, put the timer, but I didn't press start yet. Okay, we're going to gonna do 10 more minutes, and I know it will be done. And I knew it was going to take longer than anybody's 30 minutes anyway. <laughs> I don't even know why I say that. Cause I, unless you don't like your chicken really done. And I kind of like my chicken done. All right. So, in the meanwhile, the breasts are done. The breasts are sure done.
The breasts are done. And I'm tasting, well, I'm tasting this breast right now. It looks good. Tastes good? The piece that she really tastes, she said it tastes good. The batter is good. Yes, here it is. I'm very good. I'm really good. Mm. It's so, it's, um, it's nice and tender and juicy. That's good. This is good. I think we're going to eat good. This is good. Mm. Ah, sorry, I can't share with you guys. Mm. It's good. Yeah, this stuff is good. This, this one, I'm going to do a video on. I'm going to show you guys a video on. But I can tell you right now, it's awesome. It's really so. I'll be I, I, and I think when I'm talking to you guys and I'm trying out these new things, and if I like it, I'm gonna do a video one for you guys. You know, you guys saw me do it, so we kind of experimented together. <laughs> but now I'm telling you that stuff. That's good. <laughs> that's good. That's good. And I'm not a chicken eater, really. I don't. I like fish a lot, and I like beef a lot. But I don't. You know, I don't really eat chicken too much, and I don't like. You guys already know. I don't like fried chicken. <laughs> I don't like fried chicken. I don't like fried chicken. Not really. No. It's not something I'm going to go try to make. I don't like it. <laughs> what is it? Don't tease us like that. <laughs> but it's good. Yeah. I'm going to show you. I'm going to make, I'm definitely going to uh, do a, a, a video on it. I'm going to do a video so you guys can really see how I actually did it. Because, um... You don't, I don't need the solution to work. Um, we took our time. What she say? Did half the patio? Yeah, she did half the patio one day. Oh, and the other oh. Half the oh, okay. No, I still. Yeah, thank you. It this does this. Oh, it looks good and it tastes good. You know, I knew it would taste good because while it was sitting, you have to, you know, you have to, um, you have to take the bat, take the batter and stuff, and you know, put it on the side after you batter it up. You just let it sit for like an hour, half an hour. 20 minutes, but I let it sit about half an hour, and as soon as I got it out, as soon as I put it on the rack, it smells so good. I just like, if, if, if it doesn't come out dry, it had to be good, and this is really good. So I'm going to do a video for you guys on that. Definitely, you're going to see one from me on that. Um, I only have one, one video that I have to edit, and that's like my breakfast one day. I'm going to show you what I have for breakfast one day. I'm going to put that one out. And uh, I really don't like fried chicken. Mm -mm. I really don't. I really, really don't. It's, it's, I don't know what it is. It's okay. I mean, it's okay, yes. Um, you know, if I, if I was to choose a, a fried chicken, especially one of them, you know, chain, the one I liked the best was um, Kentucky Fried Chicken because it's not really fried, you know. Popeye's. No. And when I walk in that store, I always smell the grease. Oh. Ugh. I don't like fried chicken. Not really at all. I can fry some chicken, but I, I and my mother would fry it a different way. I think one I have a video of how my mother fried the chicken. And I ate her chicken because she's about the only one I would eat. And even when she was making it, I would ask her to please give me the breast, the side I want, and I want to bake it. And I always did I just I just really don't like fried chicken and my cousin always bothered me about making him some fried chicken. Mm -mm. Yeah. Yeah, it has to be crispy and not greasy, you know. Crispy and not greasy. That's, that's, if it was crispy and not greasy, then fine. But I guess, you know, when you deep fry it, mm, no. No, 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 I'm not feeling well, it. Well, if you deep fry it uh -uh. and the heat is high enough, then you don't have to keep it in so long. So it's not yeah. Crazy. Yeah, but, but even like I made, I made um, I made fried turkey um for the, the holidays, and everybody liked it, you know. But I thought I had roast turkey. That's just me. I mean, everybody did like the, the fried turkey, but I just still rather have roast turkey. I mean, you know, I, I mean, just did. Things in the roast turkey because I feel like it was the injectables yeah. that made it good. Yeah, we and I injected it before I actually put it in on um, fried it up. I mean, I suppose you could. You can in inject a, um, a chicken, and it might make it taste better, but it's that, that grease. Ugh, I can't, I can't. I don't like too much grease. <laughs> and, you know, I'm fry I do fry things, as you can see, but the grease, ooh, mm-mm, I can't do grease. Um, what'd she say? 
She's talking about the um, uh, You know the size of it. I think Booker said it's 14 by 40. I did mm-hmm. it a few years ago one day. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's pretty big. And it's pretty big. Mm-hmm. Um, and when I came from church, I did it myself. Oh, it okay. Took a little over five hours. I wow, Pat. Time. I ain't going to spend five hours. On. <laughs> well, I'm not doing a patio anyway. I just really want to do the side of the house. And the whole house could take a few, several hours, you know. So, uh, but, but Pat, but Pat, can you, can you put solution in there or does it, you know, but I don't want to put solution in yours if you don't really put solution in yours. So I got to figure that part out because that's what some stuff you can buy on, on television on uh, the other day, um, yesterday, not that today, and you just put, um, you put, you hook your hose into the thing. And it gives the same power and could wash it off. Because I just want to wash that off. So I may even try that, you know, see if, if that works first. Or just you know. that on TVC also? No, I saw it on, I guess, an infomercial. Mm-hmm. But I'm going to try that. I'm going to see if that stuff works well. Just to clean it off. That's all I really want to do. And I'm going to get myself another air conditioner. So I'm going to have two air conditioners up here because this area of this area is um very like hard it's to so cool. so hot when you have the air conditioner on. I don't understand what you need to. Well, Sharita doesn't understand, but I need to be cold. <laughs> what, is, what, what did that person just say? I need to be um, cold. He said, I love it, but I don't eat too much of it. That's yeah. the fried chicken. Yeah, that's, you I know. Eat, I need it be. Yeah, Perry, Perry loves fried chicken. Yesterday, he wanted to go get him some Popeyes. I can't stand Popeyes. The Popeyes to me, oh. Even oh. that family that people were killing themselves. Oh, like, I can't. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I need it, yeah, right? I need it. Rosebud, I need it cold. I am, I am, what do we call us? Uh, we have our um, menopause. I need it to be cold. I need it to be cold. That's why I won't turn the oven on. So I turned the air on for, you know, for all this afternoon while the oven was on. I just I turned it off. Still yeah, I, I turned it off because, you know, only because it makes a lot of noise, those air, air conditioners. And then I was thinking about getting that air conditioner, that, um, what is it, window lift air conditioner? And for the, yeah, of course, it, makes them that. it would cost, no, the window lift one? Not the one, not the one with the, um, not the portable, not oh, the, the portable one. one. The, like, yeah, like the, that one, or like the one Perry has out there. Which I'm sure, I mean, the fan is really outside, so the noise is outside. And Perry says it's really, hey, Evelyn, how are you, Evelyn? I miss you, Evelyn. Well, I don't know last time I saw you, girl, but I miss you. Anyway, yes, um, so I was thinking about putting one of those things in. But, you know, some of those don't last that long, and it would cost me thousands of dollars probably to do it. And I'm like, mm, so I really want What's to right now. What's the resale value when you sell the house, though? Well, when I, oh, it would give it some more value when I sell the house, yes. It would, actually. It would put up. It would give some value when I when I sell because it's close to having a central air, at least in this area of the house. Yeah, it would. But I'm, I'm central. You know, um, no, we don't have central air. <laughs> we got window air condition. Most most people that live here have window air air um, conditioners. We don't have uh, central air too much, you know. And um, a few years ago when we had Sandy, if your air conditioner system, of course, it is outside. And it got destroyed by that water, it's not covered in your insurance, you know. And that's a lot of money to do that. But I don't, I don't like, you know, I never thought of, of doing it too much because uh, I'm at, I was at work at, at a different building and I wasn't here all day. So it didn't really affect me until now I am here all day, you know. So I'm like, oh, hell, heck no, I got to have this house cool while I'm trying to work, you know. I haven't even turned on my air Yes. Wow. Yes, we have the private summer. It's not. It's just that everything is too hot for me, you know. So that's why, Tiff, I don't know about going down south because I cannot. I might stay in the house all day. If it's going to be really hot, I, I can't. Mm-mm, I can't. Almost like I can't do fried chicken. I can't. <laughs> what every say? Um, we doing good. I made one of your favorite vegetables. <laughs> so I mean, you like you like Brussels sprouts, girl? Ah. How about that? I'm always cooking something that you like. I made you fried fish yesterday, girl. <laughs> and it was outstanding. Outstanding. It was so good. Oh, oh man, it was one of my best batches of, of fried chicken that I made. And I really, really wanted it. Again, when I'm frying chicken, I ain't deep frying it, you know. 
Kentucky. I don't like Kentucky Fried. I mean, I like Kentucky Fried Chicken, Pat. Is Actually, the worst? I don't know. Like, what do you think is the best? No. Pat? So what do you think is the best, Pat? I like Kentucky Fried Chicken. I definitely like that. It's not fried. It's sort of broached. They call it broasted. Because actually I had to work there one one of my, my first story and my first being um attacked by men thing <laughs> that I had to do, man. But anyway, yeah, I, I had to work there one day. Your daughter says, Mom, you always, my daughter says, Mom, you always what? Fanning. <laughs> yeah, because it's hot. <laughs> Yes, because it's hot. <laughs> it is. Oh, my gosh. It's like, are you kidding? Uh-uh. <laughs> get get away from me. You don't want nobody it's near like, you. It's too cold up here for uh, me to visit you. You don't it's want nobody over. near you. Sharita Shereen, Shereen hasn't gone through her own private summer yet. But when she do, Popeye's, ugh. Look, Perry, ugh. ugh. I can't eat that. Ooh. And them sandwiches, they greasy. Oh. What new? Is that the new one? The, the one, one that, that was a few months ago? Oh, yeah. greasy. That thing was so greasy. I think they put more butter or something on top of the grease. Oh, I mean, you could eat it, but nah, I wouldn't be going crazy to get that sandwich. Uh-uh. Hoo-wee. Nah, 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 nah. No, I, I, mm-mm. Popeye's? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I'm not... They, you know what, but Popeye's should do more vegetables. They should make, like, collard greens or something, you know, something, something, some more green. I mean, they do have you know. green beans or something. Yes, yeah, they don't really have green beans too much. They, they need to have, have more rice. green stuff. They have rice, rice and beans, red beans and stuff, but they need to make something, some more greens. And there's a lot of places, if they put more greens, and even White Castle had a salad, would be nice, you know. If they did stuff like that, you would really maybe go and get it, because at least you can get something green with it. And that's another uh, one of my uh, but endeavors. But salads are usually not that great. Like, even the yeah. McDonald's salad is like... Yeah, they're not... doesn't taste clean. And you can get a solution, but you don't need it. Okay. All right. Well, um, Phil put solution in on, on it when he did mine. He put some stuff on it. And I know when I bought it, it had some solution you could you could use with it. But... You know, or you could probably just use some uh, fabulous. That what's that called? Fabulous. Fabuloso. Fabuloso, or or, or that something like would that. Would work with power washing. Yeah, I don't. But it would smell good. Is <laughs> supposed to prevent mold from recoming? No, like, it just kicks the dirt off. It's just trying to get all that dirt off and the mold off. Hmm. You know, because every every single house over here got mold on it. Every one of them. So I think we all need a good power wash. That's what I think. And Pat, and Pat, you started off this year. I'm going to be following you with some power washing to get that stuff off my house. So <laughs> that's one thing. If we can do that and then get the bird droppings off the house, too, there's another thing. Birds all over the place. I don't know what's going on around here. I don't really know. But, you know, used to you have two air conditioners in the area, but you ended up only needed one. All right, I have one right now, Pat, and I think I need two. So I'm putting another one. I'm going to get another one to go with this one, and then it will be cool in here. You know, I need it. It's I need it cool. cool. I don't know if you, I don't know, Pat, you probably like, you probably like it a little warmer, you know, but I, I like it. Done. Yeah, I, but I really like it to be cold, like freezing, freezing. So I freeze Perry out. So unnecessary. I freeze him out. Sweaters. Oh, yeah, no. You have to wear a sweater cool up pants. in here. You're going to have to wear a sweater. What? See, Shirley, you don't have to worry no more about these sorts of things being too hot or too cold at school. Remember? Mm-hmm. She always complaining that it's too cold in there it is really or too cold hot in there. It's really cold at But school. now, you can, you can, you got your own temperature. You know how many people at work complain about something that's too hot or too cold? And literally, it was like 70 degrees if you put a, a thermometer in there. And, but everybody, it was depends because... Some rooms were a little colder than others, but you know, you really—it was really like seventy I mean, degrees my across the board. Office is blue blazers hot. Like mm-hmm. every morning, the kids would be like, "It's hot in here," and I'm like, "I know it's hot in here." Yeah, and see, be, like, and then I—I've had that. I go to the window. I've had that at my at my job. It has been like boiling in there. I have to turn the heat off. I turn the heat off. My heat don't come on most of the time. 
it, it, it has to be really, really cold. And then when the wind blows, it, that's when the air comes in and you can really feel it and you can even hear it in the building I, I, that I work in. But, uh, yeah, now we don't have to worry about temperature and people saying it's too hot for this one or too cold for that one. You're in your own house. Make it your own temperature. I feel the wind you know? right now from outside. From the yeah, the wind, is, the wind is blowing, and I have windows that I can open, which I don't have at work. Those windows do not open at all. And I think there's some so real problems, too. how do you get too. out if, you, if there was a fire? You better go down there because you got to go use the fire uh, exit. You can't get out of there. I'm on the fourth floor. I mean, I probably would try to jump from there would be hard. But I don't know how you would get out because the windows are, like, glued. You can't, there's no, you can't open that window. Nobody, the windows in the whole building don't open. So I really don't know how you get out with that. But I think we are done. I, it really looks done. Finally. It really looks done. That was like a long I knew it was going to take a long time, but I wanted you guys to see what I was doing. Otherwise, this stuff would have been in the oven already. But let's let's try this. Let's try this piece right here. Let's give it. Let's give it a go. Well, it could be skinless bones, but that recipe don't say that. Mm. That recipe don't say that. I think we should. Don't say 145. There might be something wrong with this. The laminar. Mhm. Because it still says 145. Where am I here? 148. 145. Well, I'm cutting this. Even this looks done. What the, is that? The side. The one. The one you. The one you. We opened up. Guys, see that? This is the one we opened up. That's fine. Whoop. You know me and my hand. This is the one that we open up. What you guys think? We cut it already. What do you think? I think it looks fine. It looks good. I think it looks fine. What are you doing to put that on like a plate or a napkin? Give it to me. Give it to me. Let's see. I think it's fine. Thank you. Drumstick for Sharita. Who says that? Looks good. Yeah, I think it looks good. I think it all looks good. And we, and that's it. Now, I want to eat this chicken. <laughs> Guys, I want to eat this chicken. <laughs> so what I'm doing is I'm going to put it on a plate. I'm going to take a picture of it. And I'm going to put it up on, on whatever the comment. What's that called? Whatever that thing is. I'm going to put it up. And that's how I'm going to do it. On so, Instagram, you mean? On Instagram. I'm on Instagram, guys. By the way, all right, I'm on Instagram, Stephanie's Kitchen. Is that what it's called? Mm -mm. Oh, well, I'm on Instagram. Stephanie's Soul Kitchen. I'm on Stephanie's Soul Kitchen, Instagram. You guys know I have a website, um, Stephanie's Soul Kitchen. Uh, that's what it's definitely called. Um, I have a, we have a group. We have a Stephanie's Kitchen group. And guys, could you do me a favor? When you're cooking something, could y'all take a picture of it and put it out there and let me see what you guys are doing? I appreciate that. You know, then we can have a chat about what's going on. I would appreciate that. I'm Stephanie's Kitchen Group on Facebook, okay? So I got a, we got a group going on Facebook, and we are moving along, you know? So please, yes, please subscribe. Yes, I'm a, I have, I have it. Sharita said it. Sharita is great, I'm telling you. She's my uh, consultant hanging here, and she's really, really helping me out a lot, man. Because I can't do all this stuff. I got too many things to do. I have to try to just concentrate on the cooking, man. So thank God for her. Well, <laughs> so, thank you. I also yes. have Instagram and YouTube. And I just follow. Thank you. And if you follow us on. And she really got um, Slim, Slim Slim. She's got a Facebook page. What's the Facebook again? It's called, um, it's called Stephanie's, Stephanie's, Kitchen, Stephanie's group. Kitchen Group. I have a, a Facebook group, Stephanie's kitchen group and I have a page called Stephanie's Kitchen, right? Yeah. The page is called Stephanie's Kitchen. So please guys, go on in there. Tell me what you're doing because I'm going to probably st stick more stuff that I do during the week, you know, and, and, and put that stuff all in there. But everybody, if you're going to make something, something that you think I like or that you saw me make or that you just like, please put it on my page I, I, and tell me what you're doing. And show me what you're doing. I really want to see every, everybody else cooking too. So I'm. This is going to be like into my retirement uh, 
occupation. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yep. She she really said it's good. She really said it's good. I'm telling you, it is good. So I'm gonna do a video for you guys with this for real. I'm gonna do a video. Uh, I got a, I have a few other ideas. I also saw a manwich. Um, now I like manwich. I'm about to eat anyway, but I like manwich. And I saw a, a video. I mean, I saw a recipe of how you can do manwich from scratch. So and I bought some sweet peppers over the, over the other day. So when I went out shopping, and I know that I need that. I think I have everything else in the house, and I may do a video on that too. So I'm going to get a few more videos out because you guys, that's how you all learn, not from just me talking, but um, that's what I'm going to, okay, we'll do. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, but, yes, I kept you on way too long. I'm sorry. <laughs> almost two hours of this. I'm, too, I'm sorry, but I, I, this thing takes so doggone long to cook. So that's why we, I'm talking to you, but we really already had it done. We had to talk through it. Okay? I'm going to come back. And maybe we're going to sit down and eat one day. We're just going to do, thank you. <laughs> thank you. But put your stuff in there. I want to see what everybody else is doing. Everybody shows me pictures. I want to see them on the group. That would be good so we can all see. All right? Anyway, guys, have a good week. I'm working Monday, Tuesday. Uh, you, you like Booker and my mom and Kevin. They like what? What she say? Uh, you're like Booker and my mom and Kevin. They like it freezing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's why me and Booker got along. We like the same temperature. We like it cold. <laughs> we got along, boy. He was y'all. We was good. <laughs> I like it cold. I do. I really do. But um, yeah, I want it like freezing in here. So while I'm, that's what I do at work if I can. I want it cold. So, yeah, but I hope you guys will be okay. I'm only working Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday this week. And if I can, I'll be only working Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday through the whole summer. So I'm going to be doing other things and maybe doing some more videos and getting more things that I want to do done because um, since we aren't working, it's good. But everybody, and you stay safe too, Lee, stay safe. And we're going to try to stay safe here as much as I can. And, uh, yes. And, in case you guys didn't know, I tested negative. I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. Last when week, the test came down negative. Down, tell you. They called me, like, Thursday. But Thursday, I came back. I tested negative. I am good, and I feel good. And I really realized I really wasn't feeling good. Oh, my God. But thank you, guys. Thank you all for, for, for praying for me and being with me and, and hanging out with me and still coming back. I put the link to the Instagrams. In the comments. Okay, she really put the links in the comments, and I'm gonna probably put them there too. And yes, Perry, the food is ready. <laughs> and Perry's negative too. We're both negative. Yes. Okay. Here we go. And thank you. Okay, guys, have a good Sunday and be safe, please. Mwah. See y'all later. Bye.